what is the median absolute deviation and why do we care about it? Let's see. We commonly use the mean absolute deviation or the standard deviation and these typically have the problem that they are impacted by outliers. So these are common measures even when you, let's say you do a regression problem and you are trying to see you know, how far the predicted values are from the actual values and it's common to use mean absolute error or root mean square error. And it's like a really similar concept that if you have an outlier, you see this really tall person here, it, it could skew the mean a bit up for everybody. And hence, if you look at the mean absolute deviation, you would end up seeing a value much larger than what you would actually maybe want to see uh, intuitively in this case, uh, in a practical setting. What is the median absolute deviation? Median absolute deviation is a typical distance between each data point and the median. So it's the median of the absolute difference between each data point and the median. So if you look at the median of these folks, you'll see that, you know, this is the median, right? And as you see, like, you know, uh, the median absolute deviation will be like uh, close to zero here in this particular case. And probably that's what you expect because all of them are almost of the same height except like one tall guy here or girl. So uh, if you look at, you know, the small example, you have a vector 4, 6, 8, 8, 10, 12, the median is 8. And if you look at the deviations in order, that would be 0, 0, 2, 2, 4, 4, and the median absolute deviation is 2, right? And in some cases, this would be more reasonable than doing the mean absolute deviation as you saw, for instance, in this example. So it's very easy to do median absolute deviation in pandas as well. And you can just use like, you know, the NumPy library and uh, NumPy median and just do something simple like this. You have a data frame where one of the features or like one column is, uh, you know, is what you want to compute the MAD for. Uh, it's pretty simple. So where to use median absolute deviation? When your data has extreme values or outliers is one case that you saw. When the distribution is not normal or symmetrical, for instance, if you have like a skewed distribution or typically a heavy tailed distribution, the mean absolute deviation or, you know, the standard deviation might not do full justice sometimes. And when you're comparing data sets with different scales, the standard deviation, so the, the, the how far the data points are from the mean are automatically impacted uh, if you have a different scale. Uh, but if you're using median absolute deviation, it is a little less impervious to scale. So they, though there are other measures that you could, you could normalize them to, you know, be sure that you're not affected by scale. Like that's a different metric you would want to use, which we can talk about in a different uh, video. What are some uh, challenges with using median absolute deviation? It's often less intuitive to interpret than other measures of spread like uh, MA, mean absolute deviation or standard deviation. Uh, you also have the problem that, you know, um, sometimes you feel like you're losing data maybe. So you have these two folks who are like, you know, a bit taller, noticeably taller than the others, but they're not outliers maybe necessarily, right? So they're like almost one third of the population here. And if you take the median, it would like, you know, uh, completely not account for this slight tallness. So maybe a mean makes sense here more than the median. So it really depends on the use case and uh, you need to think which makes more sense for your specific data set. We looked at what median absolute deviation is and when we would want to use it. And particularly, we saw that it makes sense if you have a few outliers which are very different, but tend to skew the mean of your uh, mean of your data set, it might make sense to use the median absolute deviation. Thank you.